Melee Marth is a fierce swordsman capable of dealing quick and powerful attacks. His elegant swordplay and maneuverability allow him to fluidly strike his opponent and string together deadly combos. He has enough movement options to bait out virtually anything, making him a perfect character to practice mind games with. What makes him a threat is his capability of dealing damage from a distance without the risk of getting hurt from any stray hits, and this has everything to do with the sword being a disjointed hitbox. The tip of his blade deals extra damage and knockback whenever it connects, so properly spacing against your opponent is fundamental when fighting as Marth. In fact, good fundamentals is the cornerstone of a great Marth player, and anyone looking to learn Smash Brothers fundamentals should definitely pick him up. He is also known for his long grab range, vicious forward smash, and punishing spike. Marth has great range in his attacks, making him a solid defender and an exceptional offender both on the ground and in the air. His neutral air, forward air, jab, up tilt, and down tilt are moves that are thrown out quickly, have wide range and possess low cooldowns, making them ideal attacks for poking and baiting out opponents. These are also great moves to interrupt incoming attacks that could force your opponent to make a mistake, which you can then capitalize off of. His forward and neutral air is great for approaching and retreating. However, if you just mindlessly throw out forward air, you will be punished for doing so. His short hop forward air has become a staple technique when fighting, so try chaining it with different things in order to stay unpredictable, because it's certainly a a strong move you'll want to be throwing out. Marth has a notoriously long grab range. If your opponent is at a low percent, try grabbing, pummeling, up throwing, then re grabbing. Dash dancing into his grab is also a great technique used to throw off your opponent. If you have grabbed someone by the ledge, try down throwing, immediately followed by a spike for a devastating kill. It's important to note that if his down air is spaced perfectly, you can almost always get the kill as long as he is close to the edge. When it comes to edge guarding, Marth is a force to be reckoned with. Counter, forward smash, and down tilt are all solid options for keeping your opponent off the stage. To quickly grab the edge, charge toward a side of the stage, short hop, and then throw out his back air. Marth will turn 180 degrees and steal the edge, causing your opponent to fall to his death, or forcing him to land back on the stage, which you can then punish. His dancing blade disrupts his momentum when used in the air. It can be used to throw off your opponent, making your landing slightly more unpredictable. His dancing blade is the most important tool for returning to the stage since it propels him forward ever so slightly, allowing him to recover from long distances. Just remember to save that jump. When you're facing a space animal, always remember that at low percents, Marth can chain grab his up throw. Once they've racked up some percent, throw in his up tilt. Marth has a phenomenal juggling game as he can up throw, turn around, and up tilt them back into another grab or another up tilt. If you mix in up airs with up tilts, with the right predictions, you can juggle a fox off stage for a kill. Remember, Marth has aerial priority over fox, so use that to your advantage. Fox's game is all about integrating speed to apply pressure, but as long as Marth is properly spacing and connecting his attacks and taking advantage of that up throw, Marth should be fine. When dealing with Peach, it's all about preventing her from getting a turn up as much as possible, as well as trying to keep her above you. If you can attack her while she is pulling up a turn up or shield grab a mindless dash attack, you'll be capable of creating an opening where you can punish her. A high floating Peach can be perfect combo bait for a Marth since his disjointed hitbox has priority over her down air. He can struggle with projectiles, therefore it's important to reduce the distance between you and your opponent in order to force the use of melee attacks, which is where Marth thrives. Anyone who is capable of doing so will spam you with projectiles hoping to throw you off your game, and by carelessly reacting to projectiles, you're taking the bait of your opponent. So it's important to keep your cool until you can safely turn the tables and make them go on the defensive. Captain Falcon thrives on open stages like Final Destination where he can move about freely. His blinding speed on the ground and in the air is what can make him a tough matchup since he's faster than Marth. Overall, you'll definitely want to play a much more patient game, because one mistake from Marth, like a missed forward smash, can mean an easy kill for Falcon. Also, his grab works wonders against Falcon, seeing that he's a fast faller, but be careful, because Marth is also the perfect weight for Falcon and chain throw as well. When fighting as Marth, the smaller the stage the better, because they accentuate his range. If the stage isn't as big, you'll be capable of getting your opponent off much faster, which means more opportunity for an early kill. He has an advantage when he's fighting on a stage with platforms that are within reach of his sword. So stages like Yoshi's Story, Pokemon Stadium, and Battlefield each possess platforms that make it easy for Marth's tippers to connect, not to mention less breathing room for whomever you're fighting. Final Destination can also be a great stage for Marth since the level is empty, allowing him to chain through and juggle his opponent with ease.
So remember, Martha's quick, has great range in both his attacks and grabs, and rewards proper spacing with extra knockback and damage. Practice his aerial game as it's one of the best ways to approach your opponent, and once you have them off the stage, capitalize by utilizing one of Marth's many edge guarding tools. Especially if you can get that spike down. That's always a crowd pleaser. We hope you enjoyed this brief look at Melee Marth. There's still a lot left to cover, so make sure to subscribe to Super Smash Academy. Don't forget to follow us on Facebook and Twitter. Be sure to watch our other videos, once we have them up. And if you want to see Marth in action, check out this match courtesy of VG Bootcamp. Don't worry, we'll be covering Smash 4 soon enough. Try figuring out some stuff on your own. I mean, the game just came out, so it's, it's what we're having to do. That was nice by Dark Sonic. I like how he pulled, he full jumped and then faded back. That was kind of risky, because the Fox could have definitely went under him.